Hello everyone. Uh, we are back with another video. Oh, we're um, yes. Oh. <laughs> we are back. Oh. Another... oh my God. Uh, we're back with another video today. Um, we are going to be reviewing five juices from Lost Art Liquids. What we're going to do, since some of these liquids are in different types of nicotine levels, is first of all, Alex isn't going to be vaping any of these since these all have nicotine. I have, I can talk about them though because I have mine at home and I have been vaping on them for a long time. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be vaping these on two mods. I have the Pegasus with a Helios uh, clone on top of it at 0.2 ohms. Um, these are the ones I will be doing the... Uh, 12 milligram liquids on um, because it has adjustable airflow. Um, and I have the Patriot with, uh, which is at 0.5 ohms on my uh, Stingray clone. Uh, and I have six milligram juices for those. So uh, first we will start out with the um, three 12 milligram juices. Soiled it. So first one, etiquette. Well, to start off, all these juices are very good, I'm not going to lie. Um, By the way, really quickly before Alex starts, all the bottles uh, come in glass bottles now. The ones that we got, we got a few weeks back and they came in plastic bottles at the time. Carry on. Um, so, as I get into this, um, let me say that these juices, uh, I'll repeat, yeah, were made by uh, Brian's company uh, from Majestic Vapes. They are... Very good juices overall. My two favorites will probably be Etiquette and Chivalry. Some of the time I'll even mix the two. Uh, the one that Tommy's vaping on right now is Etiquette. And it's actually really good. It has, it's a nice blend. It's just, it's just an overall blend of good taste. Right, I'll let you, because you're vaping on it. <coughs> Can we hit it? Yeah, it is a uh, pineapple flavor. And um, as you can see, it produces fine vapor. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know the uh, PG, VG levels, but um, it does contain both apparently. So it is some form. I'm guessing it is more VG heavy since it doesn't have as big of a throat hit. The pineapple blend is very good. It almost tastes like you're cutting into a dull pineapple and you're just taking a slice right out of it. Or if any of you guys have been to Disneyland and gone to, uh, there's this little section that has these dull whip type I guess it would be like a sorbet type thing. It's like ice cream, yeah. It's yeah. a creamy ice cream. And that is essentially what it is. <clears throat> and that is like... <laughs> I just, if, I, if I had to go to Disneyland for anything other than the rides, that would be it. I, I would go to amazing. Disneyland just for that. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't have that big of a throat hit. And honestly, if you're going to do this on a dripper, you don't need that big of one. But it does have a lot of flavor because... I'm hitting, this is a 12 milligram juice, and I'm hitting this on a dripper. I normally don't do that. So... Um, it feels more like an eight if you um, compare it to other just like straight up 50-50 blends. Liking it so far? Yes, I am. I do like this flavor. Um, so, um, <clears throat> the bottles are very unique, you know, I mean, the it's just a glass bottle with a dripper. We'll show them um, a new more. There we go. There we go. Lost Art. This is a unicorn puke. <laughs> uh, we'll describe it later on. This was the old bottle, what they used to look like. If you guys can see. A little farther away. There, there you go. go. Yeah. And this one is Etiquette's old bottle. Yeah. So, they've gotten really, um, they've gone a long way they, since they started. And they've become really popular recently. I yes, mean, they have. Yeah. Uh, Brian said that they were getting in over 30 stores and some even in Europe so far. So, it's kind of. And good for them, man. Yeah. Good flavors all around. So, uh, next flavor we are going to do wait, is... Wait, wait. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, what would you give etiquette? Oh, um, so I do like pineapple flavors. I'm a very fruity type of vapor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I would give this probably a 9 out of 10. There is one pineapple flavor that I um, <clears throat> do like better, but this one is more of a pineapple creamy flavor yeah. from what I get from it, which is what it is. It's not just pineapple. So, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I'm with you. The next flavor we're going to be doing is Simplicity.
Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm, ah, yeah. So talk about it. It's a juice. <laughs> um, Good job. Just, just like the name says, simplicity. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, man. It's uh, not. Uh, let me smell it again. God damn it, I'm sick. It smells really fucking good. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a berry mix. Um, yeah, so it's a berry mix. And again, not too much on the throat hit. That's why I gave the other one a 9 out of 10. Um, but it does have a really good flavor. So they do have, Ooh. they do compensate for that. So if you are a, uh, if you do like to uh, use flavors on drippers, I would definitely go for these flavors. Um, even in tanks, you know, like it's not that big of a difference. It tastes like you're having a slice of Marie Callender's Razzleberry Pie. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was, it's not just one fruit, so. No, it's a multiple fruit blend. It's a, well, berry blend. It tastes like, I can taste a little bit of the blackberry, I can taste blueberry for sure, and maybe a hint of raspberry, so, I like it. I guess as they say, simplicity is simple. Yeah, it's a really it's ironic simple. name because this is not a simple flavor at all. How do you know? Because there's multiple berries. That it's one, it's berries though. It's not like there's mangoes. I give that one a 9 out of 10 as well, by the way. Um, so, next flavor we're going to be doing is Solitude. You get this really cool scent. Just coming out, like, when I say cool, I literally mean it has a cold scent to it. And it just it smells really freaking good. These juices, they're all darker as we go along. And we've gone literally from lightest to darkest. So the lightest would be uh, that was not That was coincidence, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I'm... I'm just pointing it out. Uh, etiquette was uh, the mildly brown one, and Solitude was the uh, darkest one that we've done so far. It's yeah, this flavor. Um, it is supposed to be a peanut butter banana flavor. Um, it does taste a lot like it. It tastes like you're eating a peanut butter banana sandwich. I can't. You can't really get any more uh, any more specific than that. I mean, there's really. They've really gone into de detail with this flavor. And the thing about this flavor, the one downside to it is that it leaves this really strange aftertaste after it. Now, um, leaves sort of like a, you know, if you vape any tobacco flavors, it sort of tastes like that aftertaste. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're gonna vape this and then go for, like, go outside and not vape for like 10, minimum 10 minutes, you're, it, that taste is going to annoy you for a bit until it goes away. Um, so, for this flavor, I would give it an eight out of 10. Uh, throat hit is there. But the aftertaste That's is something insane. that really gets me. What? It tastes like nutter butter. Yeah. It tastes like straight up nutter butter. It's a really good flavor. The only thing is that aftertaste, it really bothers me. I don't know why. I mean, I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't like it. It, it tastes kind of burnt with the aftertaste to me. I don't know about you. Yeah, that's what tobacco flavors do. They taste a bit burnt after. So uh, right now we're going to cut and I'm going to finish vaping off of my uh, Patriot just so I could get the previous juice out of here. And we are back. So um, these are the six milligram juices that I have. And first we will be vaping on peanut butter crunch. It, so yeah. Captain peanut butter crunch. It tastes exactly the way. Like this was just a sample bottle. And honestly, it tastes exactly like fucking Captain Crunch, you know, the Captain, Captain Crunch cereal. Uh, it ta it's like so good. It's very similar to Solitude, uh, which is the other peanut butter, but it has that. It just more. It's straight up peanut butter with uh, cream in it, um, and that adds it to make it sort of taste like the cereal. Honestly, there's not enough good things I can say about this flavor. This flavor. Um, it's funny because the two six milligram juices are the ones that are the best in my opinion. Um, but this flavor is honestly one of my favorites. Well, all right, Captain Crunch. It literally tastes like Captain Crunch, I'm not gonna lie. I like the flavor a lot because I'm obsessed with the cereal, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so, I vape on the flavor all the time. It just, the issue for me is it's very sweet. So, I would vape on it, but I'll get annoyed after a while, so I'll switch to something else in right. the meantime. I mean, I, I like it and it does taste, it tastes exactly what the label says, peanut butter crunch. The weird thing for me is the aftertaste, you know? Let me have it real quick. It's the exact same thing. It tastes, the aftertaste is very similar. It tastes exactly like the aftertaste of Solitude, and I think that's the peanut butter. 
you know, all those robust peanut butter, tobacco uh, flavors or coffee taste very, um, have that weird aftertaste. It's not just their juices. It's like I have a few other peanut butters and stuff, and it tastes very similar regarding the aftertaste. Um, but if you ignore that, it does. it is a very good flavor. I like it. Yeah. I give it a 10 out of 10. I would give it a 9 just because of that aftertaste. Um, but the extra point as opposed to the 8 out of 10 I gave uh, Solitude is the fact that it is very... Um, it's accurate to the it, name. It's, well, I mean, it's, it's, yes, it tastes exactly like peanut butter crunch. Um, the next flavor, last flavor, best flavor, in my opinion, is one that just came out a few weeks ago, yeah. I believe. Um, it is called Unicorn Puke. And, um, I this, haven't even tried it yet. This flavor is, um, it's supposed to be a sorbet, like one of those rainbow sorbets that you have with mixed with Oh little my cream. god. Yeah. It tastes exactly like it, and it's honestly my favorite flavor that they make. It's like an ice cream flavor. It smells like rainbow sherbet. Yeah, earlier Alex was saying, hey, why don't we just get some ice cream for this video? It's like, we don't need to. We have this. It tastes exactly like it. Don't knock on Ben and Jerry's. It tastes like rain... It tastes... Smells like rainbow sherbet. Damn. Um, but yeah, um, the throat hit is there. Throat hit is on point. It's stronger than the others. Um, it tastes like a six mil... It, feels like a six milligram as opposed to the 12. Um, but so yeah, this flavor I would definitely give a 10 out of 10. No doubt in my mind, this is my favorite flavor uh, that they make. That is just magical. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm about to puke a rainbow. Well, it's unicorn. Unicorns are associated with rainbows. Rainbows are associated with unicorns, vice versa. Either way, that's good. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I would as well. Um, no aftertaste. Um, it has that, that creamy notes after you exhale, so, Perfect. um, yeah, it's really good. It's my favorite flavor. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this review. Um, up, up and coming, we are going to be reviewing two flavors from Buckshot Vapors. I'm trying to find the other bottle. We have to do that. We got a tank to review. I got the Paradigm by Magma to review. We got a Provari to review. We got a bunch of things coming up for you guys. Yes. Um, I can't find the other bottle. Don't know where it is. Um, oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, God. Um, that's okay, so, so good. We have Hard Candy and Double Tap from Buckshot Vapors. Um, and yeah, so we have a few other videos coming up. You like Alex said the Provari. We have the uh, side by side with the 2K funds. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. We will be. Uh, getting those videos out to you shortly. Um, and yes, um, this these are Lost Art Vapors and liquids, sorry, Lost Art Liquids, and these flavors have just been citrused.